Welcome back to another Top 5 Plays, Week 256. We got some Wombo Combos this week, and for you support mains out there, we're going to be showing you some love as well. Let's get right into it. At number 5, we have NA Support Main on Thresh. The blue team is behind 11k gold and a lot of kills, but that's not going to be stopping this Thresh from trying to make some plays. He flashes and grabs a Nami with a death sentence and goes in. Hits both Nami and Lucian with Flay, triggering Yasuo's last breath. They wait for Diana Zonius to expire and take her down. Thresh looks for more, and he's going to be catching another fish, but he doesn't just focus the Nami. He puts his attention on the Riven and exhausts her just before she wind slashes. After that, they run it down mid and start paving their way towards victory. See? Supports can win games too. Speaking of supports winning games, at number 4 we have Miss Mo on Bard. The fight for Dragon has begun and it looks like the red team has control of it. Or so they think. Miss Mo is about to cause Bard main zagasm in ecstasy as she catches four members of the red team with a perfect tempered fate. It's paired with Zig's ultimate and Gangplank ultimate and red team tries to disengage but the Wombo is too strong and they lose three members of their team. Not only is the blue team getting the Dragon but they're going to be treating themselves to a Baron as well. At number three, showing us the power of a hurricane, we have Electro Boy on Twitch. Electro Boy's teammate gets caught out, but he's going to be making the best of this situation. As he wraps around the corner, pops the Ghost Blade, and starts ripping the blue team apart with his Ratatat Tat. I mean, Graves and Braum are going to be going down to the Poison Lulu around the corner, helping him acquire that Pentakill, and he gets it. Let's take a look at that one again. Whew, was that a lot of damage? Here we go, perfect positioning. His hurricane is spreading all over the blue team and there's nothing they can do about it. At number two, we have Suruma Sukhoi on Wukong. Both teams are currently waiting for a fight to break out. Sion tries to initiate with his unstoppable onslaught, but Wukong gives them the fake decoy spook. Meanwhile, in the back line, Kazix is bursting down. Ari flashes after her and takes her down. The hyperkinetic position reverser helps Kazix plan his escape, leaves and activates his trap card. The blue team is sandwiched together and takes four ultimates in the face for the ultimate wombo combo. Three knockups from Cyclone, Glacial Fisher, and Emperor's Divide into Lucian's coin. Watching the replay as the blue team puts on their Jordans and gets some real airtime. At number one, we have Miss Tiki T on Aurelian Soul. Master Yi and Aurelian Soul have just taken Dragon, while the blue team is about to take Baron. It seems like they won't get there in time, but Miss Tiki T starts a star search in times her comment of the legend so that she can hand deliver a giant cosmos to three people in the Baron pit combined with a four man voice of light paired with the Baron debuff. The burst damage is too much, and Miss Tiki T acquires the Quadra, and Master Yi is that guy. And I hope you're ready for our bonus clip because, uh, well, it comes from Zell Knight on Teemo. Zell Knight is about to get ganked by Echo through the river and Renekton knows this, but he flashes a little bit too soon and gets bursted down before Echo shows up. Now Echo knows that Zell Knight's in that bush, but because of camouflage, he doesn't know where he is. Zell Knight repositions himself, but Echo guesses correctly and hits him with the Time Winder on the front and back end. But take a look at the minion damage. Echo is actually taking a lot of damage right now, and even with Convergence, the stun's not going to be bringing Zell Knight out. He has to get out of there. He's getting too low, and Zell Knight makes a run for it. Echo is going to be chasing after him. However, Gragas is coming through the river as well, hits him with the body slam, and takes him out. Do you hear that? Listen closely. <laughs> And before you go, we have some exciting news to share with you guys. We recently got in touch with Replay.gg in order to make submitting videos to us easier. Just go to Replay.gg and type in your registered account name into the search bar, and this will pull up your match history. There is a Submit to Potato Monster button that will pull up a box. Just fill in the details, and you're all set. You can also look at any replay of your recent games while you're at it and save them for your own keepsake. And it is real easy to register. Again, all you have to do is type in your name creepy cheat come on parv anyways replay.gg will prompt you to make a ruined page named replay.gg once done you're ready to go thanks again for stopping by this week guys we really do appreciate it remember if you like the video hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next week